Hi guys, welcome to Giza Gaming. On this video, I'm going to show you how to win 8 versus 2 mode. First of all, you need to play as the doctor, or at least you need 4 doctors in your team. Then, next one, I'm going to show you my second option as priestess. Before we start it, we need to set the persona to the left side because doctor has a very weak vaulting speed. Okay, don't forget to set it first before we start the game. My first tip for you is to always communicate well. Tell other team members where is your location so they can join you to do decoding. You know that the cheaper machine takes longer time to do on this mode. When the hunter chasing you, you always need to tell them as well, okay? Don't forget to do it. It's basic but very important. After you finish your first cheaper machine, go get the rocky ball on the telephone booth. I prefer do this rather than opening chest, okay? Okay, so I already have my rugby ball here. Let me show you how am I going to use it. Because this other forward seems like, well, he's laughing to do decoding but not helping other fan. What on earth are you doing that, okay? So we need to save other player. And as you can see, there are two players there sitting on the rocket chair and Gesa is watching both of them. We need to use the rugby ball to run as fast as we can, okay? Then let the Giza hit you, it's fine. Rescue your friend and then run away again with the rugby ball together with the forward. Let me show you some other scene. As we know that this map is pretty wide enough, that's why you need rugby ball, okay? another hit you and then let's rescue the forward it's okay let's clean up the cobweb first we know that the other player that i saved is being hit by the hunter it's okay let's just run first and then kill yourself first before you can save him again you still have time okay While I'm doing this, I know that my friend surrounding me is trying to help him as well. That's really good, really nice teamwork. And after you are healed, okay, you can just go to the hunter and join the party together. Okay, the hunter seems doesn't care with me, okay. That's <laughs> fine. And it's time to do decoding. Next tips, fighting the hunter. As you know, the doctor can heal herself anytime, anywhere. So while you are healing yourself, you can play around with the hunter and buy some time for your friend to do the coding. We start with five cheap burst machines. Keep telling your friend where is the location of you and the hunter, and then just play around and around. Again, keep running the friend. Again. And there are only three chippers you see remaining. You are done. Escape plan B, Crowbar. After three chippers machine have been finished, and there are only four or less survivors left. Then you can buy crowbar on one of the telephone booth. It will appear randomly. Okay? After you bought it, there will be a notification for other friends. Now let's we find the dungeon. As we know, on this map there are five different locations, so you need to memorize them. Okay, so this is the location of the dungeon. It's pretty easy for this one. And let's just open. Don't forget to notify your friend. And remember, after you open the dungeon, the hunter nearby you 
can hear the sound of the dungeon being open. Okay, so see, let's jump. Okay, so with this crowbar, you can escape together with your friend. No worries, no need to do decoding. Okay, because I often see many players still busy doing the decoding after there are only four people left. Okay, and always notify your friend where is the location of the dungeon so they know and they can jump. Okay. Let them go, and then jump! So I often be the last person standing on this 8 versus 2 mode. So if this happen, well, just jump! Now, let's replay as priestess with the same persona like Dr. Before. Let's start again. First tips, after you finish your first cheaper machine, go get ring on the telephone booth. It's pretty cheap. Only 1000 points. Then create hidden portal. Like on this location, the hunter cannot see it from the outside. Create portal anywhere when you do decoding. It will save you and your friend. Okay? Create portal anytime when you have so you can easily escape when the hunter chasing you. I also love this location, so I can safely to do decoding and I have my escape portal. Okay, so don't forget to always create your portal anywhere you do decoding with your friend. When you feel your heartbeat and the hunter came to you, no worries. I found out that hiding on the look around 8 versus 2 mode is pretty useful. But please don't do this if the hunter is the feaster. Of course, he will know because of the tentacle. See? That's Wu Chang. He doesn't even know that I'm here, okay? Again, if you are the last person standing, heal yourself first. After that, go get rugby ball on the telephone booth. As you can see, there are many items below the telephone booth, and don't forget to pick up the right item that you just bought, okay? Now, I need to check out where's the location of the dungeon. And somehow, the hunter helps me. Because Geisa standing right above the dungeon, just jump to the dungeon. Yay! Again, as the last person standing, kill yourself first and then buy rugby ball. Okay, and I'm just waiting for the right moment because I believe that's the location of the dungeon because the freezer and Geisa is standing over there. Here Geisa come and just run with the rugby ball and then jump. Bye bye. New update, highlighted phone booth with crowbar. See, the phone booth is really different. It's being highlighted and I just noticed it since yesterday. I believe the crowbar is in here. See? I got it! And I think maybe some of the player giving complaint or comment to the developer because this 8 versus 2 mode is really imbalanced or it's really tough for the survivor. <laughs> okay, let's try to save the gardener. I don't think she could make it yet. Yeah, so we just waiting for the right moment. Okay, so the hunter seems doesn't notice that I right behind him. Let it be. Let me just open this dungeon. Okay. And bye bye sister. Hope you have stayed for watching guys. Don't forget to give your thumbs up and subscribe. Bye bye.